Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to Gadget Pool. So in this video, we're going to give you the review of the Nokia 7 Plus. As we all know by now, Nokia is back. It's back in the game. Nokia was considered the king of the mobile phones and they ruled for almost a decade till the mobile phone market was finally being invaded by other tech brands. In 2017, Nokia now owned by HMD came in with a bang. They launched as many as six handsets to stay strong in the market and give the competition a run for their money. And here we have the Nokia 7 Plus to see how this one fares against its rival in the similar segment. In terms of design language, the Nokia 7 Plus essentially looks like a more refined version of its older siblings. While looking at the phone, one of the first thing you will notice is the copper colored accent running along the aluminum frame with chamfered edges which looks great and more elegant on the black variant. The ragged frame is milled from a 6000 series aluminum piece which gives it a robust and rugged build. The frame has sharp corners around the display and the frame flashes against the rear panel to give the phone a premium and solid grip without giving the device a heavy or chunky feel. The matte finish looks good, and the handset doesn't pick up fingerprints as much. However, we recommend you to get a case for the device to ensure it is kept it clean and safe. The Nokia 7 Plus flaunts a 6-inch IPS LCD Full HD Plus display with a 2160 by 1080 pixel resolution and an aspect ratio of 18 by 9. As for the display, the device has great viewing angles with bright and vibrant colors. Color temperature looks accurate with a decent amount of brightness levels. The front is an all glass affair covered by Gorilla Glass 3 which ensures a degree of protection against scratches. The dual rear cameras are placed in a chrome housing and protrudes outward a little. However, it does make the camera glass prone to scratches when placed on a flat surface. The fingerprint sensor on the rear panel also sports copper highlights. The dual rear cameras are placed in a chrome housing and protrudes outward a little. However, it does make the camera glass prone to scratches when placed on a flat surface. The fingerprint sensor on the rear panel also sports copper highlights. A speaker grill and USB Type-C port occupy the bottom edge, while a 3.5mm headphone jack resides on the top. All in all, the Nokia 7 should withstand the rigors of everyday use. It is definitely one of the best looking and best built phone under $400. The Nokia 7 Plus packs in the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 mid-range chipset. The phone also takes advantage of a pure Android experience with Android One, with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage for sheer no-nonsense performance. UI and app performance is speedy and we didn't experience any slowdowns or stutters. The processor is powerful enough to deliver a smooth, high-intense graphics gaming experience without choppy frame rates. Games such as PUBG Mobile, Need for Speed No Limits, and a few others played with ease at moderate settings. However, the phone does heat up quite a bit, but not alarmingly hot. Adding to the quick experience, the fingerprint sensor is also quick to unlock the phone. Multitasking is also a breeze and the processor with 4GB of RAM makes sure one can use multiple apps without any issues. Moving ahead, software is where the Nokia 7 Plus outshines. The company continues to follow its primary pitch focused on pure and up-to-date Android. The 7 Plus offers its users snappy and stock Android experience with absolutely no bloatware. With Android Oreo out of the box, Nokia promises regular and timely Android updates. Besides, the Nokia 7 Plus also offers some nifty features stored under its sleeves. There are a few gestures which we found to be useful. One can use the fingerprint scanner to pull down the notification bar by just sweeping down the finger. One can quickly launch the camera by double pressing the power button. One can also mute or reject incoming calls by just turning over the phone on its face and lastly, double tap to wake the phone is also available. So what do you guys think about the Nokia 7 Plus? 
let us know in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel for more info and update. Thank you for watching and see you next time.